I worked on two films uh, in the festival, Forerunners and Imam and I, and um, they're very different, very different films uh, in terms of uh, workflow and format. So Imam and I, I started shooting in 2005 when, uh, yeah, I just bought uh, like a Panasonic DVX100, so it's TV, right, SD. It's a great image, beautiful image, has some... I don't know. It has some kind of vignette going on there. And it's it's very it, it 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 has a lot of contrast. Uh, Forerunners was shot on the 5D. So we, we shot primarily on the EX3 uh, Z1, um, and most of our stock footage uh, we got. We had a lot of archival footage um, from kind of resistance days. That was um, that was all um, just DV um, standard definition, um, and then yeah. We again did the same thing. We at the end kind of put it all on a ProRes HQ timeline and exported it like that. When I listen to you guys, I'm certainly the oldest here, and that's not going to make me feel bad because the good thing about that is I don't know what the hell you're talking about because I'm like an assistant. Come and do that, and I can sit down and not worry about all that technical stuff because. Um, if I had to worry about that as well, I, I don't think I'd be able to, to edit. You know, it just kind of seems to me that it takes away from, from my thought process. We spent four weeks in November editing the, the bulk of the film, and we'd spent like the year, like meeting every week, every couple of weeks, talking about the film, looking at rushes. So he was very prepared. He came with a whole like transcript of interviews, which is unusual for directors in this country. The last part of our documentary, I mean, we've, we kind of follow a symphony in, in the story, so towards the end the, the symphony happens and we had about four cameras, four cameras, five cameras, all of them totally different, <laughs> which made it quite interesting for grading. <laughs> so I come from a world where to make a dissolve, you have to mark it up with a grease pen, take out. <clears throat> the two shots, it was going to be the dissolve, send it off to the labs. If you were lucky, 10 days later you got it back. <laughs> and if it was a mess, then tough, you know, it had to be cut back into the film and sent off to wherever it had to go. Now, which means that you have to really think about that dissolve. Where does it start? Do those shots really line up? It brought a certain kind of a discipline with it. Um, and as with a critic of little film, the, it, it seems to me often that there's a, a, a kind of a discipline and a thought process lacking in our filmmaking because it's so accessible, because we can just walk into a shop, buy, I bought one for my niece the other day. Um, and she gets irritated when I tell, tell her, think about what you're doing. Some poor son of an editor is going to have to sit and sift through all that shit that you just shot. You know? <laughs> think about it. Um,